right here today with another one of our popular tools of the trade videos. We're going to gather some stuff together, show you some nice things. It's uh, handy to have some things you need if you're a shooter. You know, everything a shooter just don't have the guns. You got everything to go with it. All kind of stuff comes in uh, that makes your, your shooting life easier, working on guns easier. And for working on guns, the first one I'm going to show you here is from XS Sykes. And it is an armor block for working on a uh, AR-15, M4, AR-10, SR-25, even the DPMS Gen 2. This uh, block goes in your vise and it allows you to clamp your upper receiver on here just like it was going on your lower. Use these pins, you flip it over for the AR-15 or the AR-10, and you, you can work on your receiver in a vise without taking any chances on, uh, on hurting your upper receiver. And this secures it into your bench vise so you can do all the work you need on an AR-15, AR-10, SR-25, or M4 upper receiver. It's available from Excess Sykes, so check them out at excesssykes.com. Got a couple of nice flashlights here I want to show you. You know, it's handy to have a flashlight in your pocket at all times. I've used this, uh, this is a uh, one AA battery from Cyclops. It uh, puts out a 100 lumen flashlight. I've had this in my pocket for a month or two now and uh, trying it out. It works really well. I use it all the time around the house or go to one of these fancy restaurants where you can't read the darn menu because they want it dark in there so you can't see what kind of gross stuff they put on your meat and that kind of thing. Break this out and you can read the menu, but uh, a flashlight like this is handy to have. These are, are heavy duty aluminum. They're a durable flashlight uh, from Cyclops. This is the TF100, which is 100 lumen, uses one single A battery. It's TF200, uses two double uh, A batteries, and it's a 200 lumen. Anyway, the good flashlights are available from uh, CyclopsSolutions.com. CyclopsSolutions.com. They're affordable, they're reliable, and they're really handy to have. portable target system here from the range shooting systems it's the range shooting system.com if you want to look it up um, once you get it put together like this um, there's thumb screws you can loosen them I recommend a set of pliers because you got to have the pliers get it tight enough loosen those thumb screws it comes apart and goes in a big uh, Cordura bag folds up into uh, a few pieces and put it in there now to put it together was aggravating um, it, the instructions say that some of the holes will be full of powder coating and it was right uh, the holes that the uh, bolt slipped through, I think they should go to a little one size larger drill bit. Will save a lot of aggravation getting those bolts to slip through those holes. Uh, the thumb screws, they work just fine, and their holes, those holes was uh, had powder coating in them too, so I had to chase those threads. You know, I would like it better if somebody in the factory would chase those threads with a tap before they box it up and ship it. But it saved some time. It took me 56 minutes to put this thing together. And I've been working with tools and machines and stuff like this uh, most of my adult life in the contracting business. But once it's together, it's simple to take it apart in section, put it in a bag. In about five minutes, the bag comes with it, and you can take it with you. And then when you set it up, when you get to the range, these things uh, loosen the thumb screw and they come apart. Now, as you can see, you can adjust the height of this, whatever size targets you may have for paper targets, or you can use the... Uh, Swingers over here, one on each side, and you can uh, uh, adjust what, how far apart you want to put those if you want to. I like them hanging out like this to keep my shocks off of this pole. Now, it's, uh, instructions recommend that you have a, uh, a half inch, I mean, sorry, 7 16th wrench, a uh, 7 16th socket, um, and then you'll need a, uh, 
these just tighten up a little thumb screws so you can take your swingers which well, swingers are good AR 500 stuff so you set that and it keeps your swinger from traveling side to side or you can move it in and out uh, they recommend a half inch file to file the powder coating out of ink side of some of these sleeves I didn't have a half inch file but I had a framing hammer so I just put it on there and tapped them down that worked uh, worked fine for that but it's, it's aggravating to put together the first time once it's together you know like I said you can take it apart fold it up and carry it with you uh, and uh, throw it in a trunky car or whatever to take it to range if you don't have a permanent range set up but it, it seems like a good system like I say the, I, I'd like some better instructions or better pictures and uh, I like those threads chased uh, get the powder coating out of them other than that seems to work really well and it's uh, from the range shooting system.com tripod lug See if there's a hammer in the back of the rhino, please. There should be. Shouldn't need a darn hammer to put this thing together. It said in here that the powder coat might fill the holes up. Looks like they just made the hole a little bit bigger. No credit to bet you. Yeah, it won't slide through that one. I'm hit. Is it David? Sounds like it. for that nut to go on there. It said the half inch long bolt. Half inch long hex bolt. Half inch long hex bolt ain't gonna even come close to making it. You got any half inch long hex bolts in there? I got them right here. They sent them. It ain't long enough. Get it started on there. Anything I do to help you there, Jeffrey? Nope. I don't know if I'm gonna need them longer bolts later or not. They got some three quarters. Maybe he's practicing. Practice so. Let's see how we can get it done. You gotta clear these blame threads out. Or these holes. The powder coated into them. They need just a little bit bigger of a drill bit. Wouldn't cost them another cent to drill that hole just a little bigger before they fill it up a powder coat. Now 
one more of them to go. So you go chase this turn, bolt through a non threaded hole because they fill the holes up with powder coat. And when you get it through there, you blend bolt threads are covered with an extra powder coat. This is the right idea of that one, going to be circumcised with a dull knife. Rusty. That Cooper Snooker emails me again. <laughs> all, you know, all the folks on YouTube that say you like everything, <laughs> they're going to like this one. It may be a fine target when get put together, but the execution of the design sucks just because of stuff like that. It just hadn't been thumped through. You know? That's why they say you need the big file because it may be powder coat and it sucks in them big holes. These little holes, you're supposed to just worry with it till it works. Now I need one of these. I need the big one. I don't specify because that would be too much trouble. Specify if you needed the short one or the long one. Because I don't think the long one is going to reach. They tell me to put. Folks have one of these on there. This one I think goes on there next. Well, I'm trying to determine if I need the short one or the long one. Let's figure that out. Large vertical member. They don't say if I need a long or short one. Any taller large tripod slider. Okay, the taller one. I need the short one here, I guess. That's it. That's where they say you need that filing crap. I ain't filing nothing. I'm hammering instead of filing. And dryers. See this right here? You get there and it won't go through. It ain't burn a hole. I'm going to try to work it through there. Or something and go back. Two holes are good. One hole in, I'll we'll get the drill out. I reckon it's drilling. Well, they say you need a half inch round file to get it over their stuff. Well, if you ever get it put together, it ought to be a good tight fit. Mm hmm. It'll hold you, gonna have to take something tight and then real good, or they'll start swinging around. Yep.
Now yeah, those are for paper, right? Yep. So leave his hands out there and we got a well, it shows you could have had one of them little ones down there under that. That one I just put on it was aggravating to get on there. But over top of the other one. Got a bit of hair with it. I just sanked her down real good. Let's see. You going off with it? Yeah, I can need to go off with sex a little bit. Buggered up up there. You support this and I'll knock her off. Okay. Ready to catch it? Yep. Alright. Put this in the hole. I don't think it's going to go below that one. Okay, we'll put this back on now. Maybe. Okay, guess we're ready to show the thing. Make sure all my critical stuff's tight. There we go. I guess we can try her again. Tighten this one up. Ready now. You, mister. No, the design of this thing is pretty good. A couple of things that I, I need to see done different about it is uh, chasing those threads at the factory. I torqued the head off one of these thumb screws because it's having to use pliers on it. They're thumb screws. They're not supposed to use pliers. If you got to use a wrench on it, it should have a hex head wrench on it. But I torqued the head off one of those, but you replace those thumb screws. These pipes, if you hit them and ding them up, it's just standard uh, EMT conduit. You can get it. It's cheap and plentiful at Lowe's, Home Depot, any hardware store, stuff like that. So those components are, are cheap and easily replaceable. You can get your target out here where you won't be hitting, hitting your sander here in the middle, hopefully. But uh, once you get it set up and tightened up, it works well. But like I said, I'd like to see those things change. But 
it's a good idea for somebody that needs a, a target system that they can take with you to the range, have some steel targets, and uh, something you can't leave there all the time. Anyway, check them out at therangeshootingsystems.com. Take it there. Wire to a thumb screw makes it just take so much longer. I guess this is all because of the powder coat, huh? Yeah. Some bastards are in the factory could have chased them threads if they wanted to. Well, you know why they didn't? Well, they don't care about it. It's probably sitting in China somewhere. <laughs> it's manufactured in New Hampshire. Yankees. Mm -hmm. 